everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. We're the Garza Twins. I'm Carly. And I'm Britta. And if you like this video and other videos that you've watched of ours, we love if you would subscribe so you don't miss any. And apparently, I feel like some people aren't seeing our videos, so maybe click yeah. the little bell. We never say that, but click the it, bell. Click the bell if you want to get notified. Yes. Today we're doing a really fun video. We're doing our 2020 lifestyle favorites. I don't know if we did this last year. I cannot remember, honestly. We did. Okay. I think we did because I watched our um, beauty favorites last year and I think we separated it from lifestyle. Got it. Okay, so we love lifestyle stuff. Obviously, you, if you guys watch our five weekly favorites, a lot of lifestyle stuff goes into those videos. So this is like a compilation of all of our favorites kind of from those videos. So we're not going to spend too much time on each item. Um, but yeah, we're excited to do this. So let's get into it. Okay, first we're going to talk about TV and movies and, and books. In books. Mm -hmm. You read. Well, one um, of each, yeah. Yeah, so we, you guys know, if you watch our channel, that we love television and movies. Britta loves books. I mean, I love the thought of the idea of books. Um, but we had to narrow this down so this wasn't, like, tragically long. So we picked one of each, which was hard, but we did it. So do you want to start with movie? Yeah, so the movie that we watched this year, so this didn't come out in 2020, but we watched it in 2020, early 2020. Mm -hmm. And it stuck with us the whole year. I think it was our favorite, was Knives Out. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but this movie, I want to watch it, like, right now. I because know, because it, it kind of has a holiday-esque vibe, It too. does. It's so good. So, um, if you're unfamiliar, the premise, it's all it says on IMDb is, Adeptive investigates the death of a patriarch of an eccentric, combative family. Um, so, basically, a detect like, a patriarch of a family. A well-known family. Well-known family dies, and they hire a detective, played by Daniel Craig, to come in and solve this mystery. So he's interviewing the family. It's kind of like a modern day clue and you don't know who did it. Um, there's mm -hmm. twists and turns, but it's funny. Um, the, the, the scenery, like whoever did the set design, like visually, visually it's amazing. incredible. Like did the we costumes, look up where the house was? I think it's in Vancouver. Uh -huh. Or no, maybe it's in Seattle. Somewhere over there. Yeah. We, <laughs> or up there. Yeah. Yes. We, we looked it up because the we house did. is so stunning. And then, yeah, like the clothes they wear, like they're pretty, I mean, they have like flashback scenes, like dinner parties, but for the yes. most part, they're just kind of like normal but they did such a good job like everyone's oh, sorry massachusetts i think oh, it was filmed everyone's Boston, character yeah. just like like from top to bottom i feel like you they're so specific and it's a big cast which is another thing i think we really liked about the movie yes. um, i loved it i think anybody would enjoy this movie like it doesn't stick to one specific genre if you like comedies you'd like it if you like suspenseful movies mm -hmm. you would like it if you like like rom it, like there's a little bit of romance i guess a little bit yeah. like i think you would just like it if you, like anyone yeah. would love this but in, it's like dry humor jamie lee curtis is incredible she's in this. incredible in like general her, yeah her, but yeah her character in this is so good yes um like the acting from everyone was so great. We don't really love Chris Evans, which I know is like a crime to some people. But I liked him in this but movie. Really liked him in this. I love the girl. Um, yeah, she ben played Marta, Affleck's girlfriend. Ben Affleck's girlfriend, Anna de Armas. Yeah, she's, she's so stunning, so beautiful, um, such a good actress. She's like at the main character. Episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's just such a good film. If you guys liked Clue and you are now adults like us, yeah, <laughs> you would love this. It's just like the adult version of Clue. Yeah. So good. Um, okay, then I'll mention my book favorite mm -hmm. this year. So I read 11 books so far. I need to read one more to make my goal of 12. Um, but I have to say, I really think my favorite book was Open Book by Jessica Simpson. That shocked me as well. I did not think I would love this as much as I did. I was glued to these pages of reading her story. I felt like the thing I loved about it was because she made herself so relatable. You know, she talked about um, her struggles with alcoholism, um, just her struggles with leaving her marriage, um, growing up in a religious family, pr prominent religious family in her town, everything. I just felt like somebody could relate to her life at any point in time um, and just how well she's doing now, but how she's still human and still goes through things. I just found it so raw and vulnerable. Like, I was so proud of her, and I don't even know her reading this. And I heard that Amazon, I think it's Amazon, is doing um, a docu series based on this book with her, and then they're also doing like a scripted series. So it could not have been just me that loved this so much. Obviously, everybody loved it because now it's going to be a series, which excites me on another level. Um, but I love this book. Even if you don't like Jessica Simpson, I think you would love this book. It's the best memoir I've ever read. I have to say, um, I love Jessica Simpson though. So I don't. Maybe I'm a little impartial, but. 100% recommend that book. 
Okay, and our favorite TV show, which was so hard, but also not, because I immediately knew which one I wanted to well, pick. Well, we wanted to pick a show that came out in 2020. Mm -hmm. So, although you guys know I binged all the seasons of Frasier, like, there are shows that we watch over we and over. We a lot of yeah. TV. But this one stuck out, and it's Never Have I Ever. It's on Netflix. It's by Mindy Kaling, and I feel like every year Mindy shows are our favorites. Like, Last year, Four Weddings yeah, was so we just, good. They just, oh, they get us. Um, but I'll read the description if you guys haven't seen it. It says, after a traumatic year, an Indian American teen just wants to spruce up her social status, but friends, family, and feelings won't make it easy on her. So it's basically about, um, this girl, Debbie, and she, um, like, loses her father and then goes through these other, like, traumatic, um, incidents, and then it starts with, like, her next year in high school. She's in high school, right? Maybe she's in middle school. Maybe. Like, eighth Maybe. grade? Yeah. Or, or ninth she's grade? in ninth grade. She might be in ninth in high school. Um, and where she's like kind of feeling better, but really hasn't dealt with the trauma of the previous year. And she just wants to like really throw herself into boys and like, she's like really, I don't know. She's like your typical like teen girl and she's like super relatable and fun to watch. She's mm -hmm. really smart, um, which she has so many levels to her. I feel like as a character, yeah. they wrote her so well and then, um, the actress played her so well. So like that alone like her acting and just her character is like enough reason to watch but like the storylines are really cute mm -hmm. and really endearing there's a lot of like emotional parts to it but also a lot of funny parts it's like so funny <laughs> it makes you laugh so much um and it's just yeah it's like a, a teen show but elevated yeah um and so like relatable and funny and just layered like i said um typical mindy kaling genius we loved it so much okay the rest of these we're gonna kind of like pick and choose because they're just all over the place um, so one thing we've loved this year are these Tronco water bottles. Um, they're glass, which we wanted, I personally at least wanted to switch to glass from aluminum. I feel like it'd be easier to clean. It's so hard to clean those like aluminum bottles, even mm -hmm. though they keep your water cold. And we were working from home, so it was like we had access to water if we, like I didn't need to keep it cold all day, essentially. I don't really even like cold water. Yeah. Maybe I'm weird, but. So I love these. I love the color. It comes in a bunch of colors. We got the two pack. It has this silicone sleeve, so you don't really need a coaster. Um, I love the straw. I mean, I love everything about it. Aesthetically, it looks nice. It fits in your car. Mm -hmm. There's nothing bad to say. I think that this is the best water bottle I've ever I used. I do wish this stayed on better. Like oh, the other I day, I put it in on. my bag and I had a little left and I had to pull over because I realized it was in my bag with my computer and I was just so scared it was going to tip over. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, but, so, yeah. um, but... I wish it was a little bit tighter. Besides that, it's great. Okay, I had to mention this one supplement, which I know is like so weird, but I really feel like this has helped me in multiple areas. This is the Garden of Life Vitamin Code Raw Zinc. It's 30 milligrams high potency, whole food zinc with vitamin C, and it says skin and immune health. And I read a ton of reviews on all the zincs on Amazon. I mean, there are so many. And a lot of people said that because this is raw, it just, um, like, I don't know, it gets into your bloodstream faster and is more pure. And there's only 60 capsules and it's two a day. So I go through these like nothing else. Like I've purchased them probably 10 times. But I originally started taking this for my skin and I noticed it really like helping clear up my periola dermatitis. And then also I think it helped with my like breakouts too. And then I noticed that like my nails grew longer and my hair was like stronger. I was losing less hair. And then I was just like, I think that zinc is just, oh, and then the pandemic hit. And then people said to take zinc for immune support. So then I was like, okay, I just gotta keep taking this because it's helping me in so many areas. And I just think that it's a super important um, vitamin to like implement into your routine. You don't have to buy this one because it's kind of, it adds up because you have to buy it monthly, but highly recommend. Okay, next up is our veggie chop. Um, we got this on Amazon. I know we talked about it before. This is such a game changer. Um, it chops vegetables so quickly. You you have to kind of cut it at least in half and put it in here and then you pull this string and it chops it for you um so we find this so useful for like onions garlic it can mince garlic you guys anything that, anything that makes your eyes water it's like especially useful for like we um when we got back from thanksgiving we had one of the home chef meals left it was a risotto and there was like a lot of chopping involved we were so tired but we didn't want to waste the food so i was like well i'm just going to use this and chop it and i chopped the broccoli and the shallot in here so quickly it made the whole process so much more enjoyable because you're not sitting there chopping for like an hour so this truly can't live without this yeah. could be like my favorite kitchen well that's pretty good too mm -hmm. but um this is a like for 20 dollars, get yourself a chopper yeah. if you eat vegetables even a little bit 
Okay, I'm only gonna be able to lift this for a brief second because it's so heavy. <laughs> but it is our Dutch oven we got from Target. It's the Hearth and Ham brand. Here it is, right here. Here you see it. <laughs> I love the color um, still. It's dirty. It gets dirty. This is the back side. We didn't know it was so dirty. Um, so we wanted a Dutch oven because we really, really, really got into cooking this year. We did. I guess that should be another favorite, I like know. the Bon Appetit recipes. Yeah. We'll link our blog post down below mm -hmm. with all the Bon Appetit recipes, pasta recipes. Well, most of them are yeah. pasta that we've made so far that we love and highly recommend. Yeah. Um, I think that honestly that might be my highlight from 2020. I was thinking about it when we were putting together this video was that because we were home so much and mm -hmm. like, I don't know, it's just something about being home wanted we wanted to cook more and we cooked so many Bon Appetit pasta recipes mm -hmm. and it was just so much fun and now we love doing them so that was definitely a highlight of the year and early on into our recipe adventure we realized we really needed a Dutch oven because every recipe we made called for one and a lot of them you can just make all in the Dutch oven which makes yes. it so easy so we bought this at Target and it was way more affordable than like the La Cruz brand that, I mean, it had to be like one fourth the price at least. Yeah, and we think it's really good quality. We've used it now so many times, and it's just such a game changer. I know people cook meat in there too. We're vegetarians, so we don't do that, but I'm sure it'd be very helpful. But we love that you can like saute vegetables, and then you can like make a roux for pasta, mm -hmm. and then you can even like add the pasta, mix it all in. Then you can even bake put, it. put cheese on top, bake it, and everything's just done in there. And it cooks so evenly, yes. especially for like the sauteing of um, like onions and garlic and like mushrooms. We learned that we used to do it in like a stovetop pan, and then we moved it to here. It cooked everything so much more even. Yeah, and it doesn't spray back at you because it's way taller. Yeah, we're just, we love it it's so much. It's so good. It was such a good purchase this year. Okay, this is pretty self explanatory. It's a rechargeable um, lighter, USB lighter. Yeah, USB lighter. You turn it on with the button and then you go like this and it makes a little thing. I have to say, I had the white one and mine broke. And then I put the black one and this broke too. So I don't know how long. We're just doing something wrong. I don't know. I still have my original one. But yeah, yours, I think I'm going to switch back to the white because the white broke, or it, it actually broke. Like, it just stopped working. This one, it works once in a while. So it's glitchy. But my white one wasn't glitchy. It just happened to break. So I don't know that they're actually like, will last you forever. But still really love them. Love the look of it. Um, it's better than getting like a lighter. I feel like we were going through the actual mm -hmm. like lighter so quickly. So still recommend this. Yeah, it's so much easier. Okay, this is a super random favor, but I truly think that these have changed my teeth this year. I feel like I've gotten more comments in our videos about how white my teeth look this year and literally all I've changed are these toothbrush heads. Um, it's the Health Plus Sensitive Brush Heads Fits All Oral-B Electric Toothbrushes except plus Pulse Sonic. And it's an eight pack, so I've used two. I try to switch them out like every three months and I got these about like mid-year. And they're just like a really dense brush head for your Oral-B toothbrush. But they are soft bristles, so for sensitive, like I have pretty sensitive teeth, they don't irritate, but they clean so effectively. Like I used to buy like even the Oral-B brand and those are nothing compared to these and these are so much cheaper. Um, I'm just really impressed with them and I think it's such a small thing, but it's like really changed my teeth, so highly recommend. Okay, so you guys know we have two dogs, Terry and Luna, and Luna sheds pretty bad. I don't this know. Year. We this think it's year. just her anxiety. I yeah, don't know. Her anxiety. Terry has more of like hair, so he doesn't really shed, but Luna sheds um, and it's little like white hair, so it's nothing too noticeable, but we just started noticing like so much dust, and it's dry in California. Dust everywhere. There's dust and like lots of dog hair just every single day. Mm -hmm. So we got two of these hand vacuums, the Black & Decker. They are life Changing. I think it's actually my favorite purchase this year. Hands we didn't even down. buy them. Our boyfriends bought them. Yeah, the thing that we use the most, that's for sure. I have to say, the veggie top we use the most, but I, and the water bottle. The water yeah, bottle. Yeah, yeah. But this is so good. It's so powerful. It's It was really helpful when we got our Christmas tree because you can just like quickly vacuum up the needles from bringing the tree in. Um, it's just helpful in so many areas of the house. And I don't know, I mean, we need to because there's just a lot of dust. There's so much dust. Like in every corner of our house, it just gathers dust and hair. It's bad. And thankfully, we don't have carpeting because we would never do that to ourselves. We hate no. carpeting. Um, but it's easy because we can just, it's just hardwood floor. So it's mm -hmm. way easier um, to use these on that. Um, but yeah, I had to mention it because truly use this every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to do a few clothing items. We didn't have a lot because we did I only have this. Wear thing. clothes. Yeah. I just have these jeans. We didn't really wear clothes, like real clothes this yeah. year because we were just home all the time. 
Um, and we bought these towards the end of the year, so it's kind of cheating, but we just love them so much we wanted to talk about them, especially since they're still in stock. Yeah. So they are I these. Hope. They must be. Yeah. They're these, um, a new day brand from Target. Target sweatshirts and they are so cute they're like a crew neck sort of mock neck a little bit of a mock neck She's cute. i don't think it's mock neck it's just a larger collar okay so like a ribbon okay. i guess okay i guess it's a it's a crew neck sweatshirt it's a sweatshirt it's cropped a little bit cropped mm -hmm. like it's so it's not long at all it hits right below like our waistline and then you know, just like standard kind of like balloon sleeves. It's so cute. So cute, so thick, like such good quality. Um, I didn't bring my other colors out here. I have the gold one that Carly has. Yeah, I have this cream. one too. And then I just got this purple, which is fun. I never wear color. I colored, love that purple. But I love the purple one. It has like the sew sewing on the back. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Literally can't say enough good things about this. And the best thing is they like keep going on sale. Is it 100% cotton? No, 55% cotton, 45% polyester. So it's fine. Um, they keep going on sale. Like the first time we bought them, they were only $14. And I think the second time, did we get them for like 12? Yeah. Like $12, you guys. Like such a steal. I want all the colors, honestly, because they're so cozy, so comfy. I feel like the quality's there. I love the fit. And I actually think like, I don't know, we had to run into our office uh, last week or the past two weeks. We only, like, we're being safe, so we didn't see a lot of people. But I wore these in, like, public with jeans. Like, yeah. I feel yeah. like they're, like, kind of, like, nicer looking. They are. So you don't look, like, frumpy. so, like, frumpy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, my other clothing item I wanted to mention are these Everlane. Um, they're, like, the 90s, the cheeky jean. And I have two washes, this, like, medium blue and then a light blue. And they are the five-button closure. That's, like, kind of standard for, like, the Levi's jeans, too. I feel like these are a really good dupe for Levi's if Levi's don't fit you correctly. They fit a little bit differently. Um, but they're such a soft denim, and they're really rigid. But I'm... Britta wasn't able to work in these, but... <laughs> Um, I feel like once you wear them for like a week or two, they really kind of like bend to your body and then they're like pretty stretched and I try to avoid wearing or washing any of my like rigid denim um, as much as possible because I feel like it just wears them out. So if you don't wash them a lot, I feel like they just sort of like conform to your body and they're really nice. I think they're really flattering. They're high-waisted. They're actually not as high-waisted as some of my other jeans. These ones are the ankle cut since I'm only 5'3", and they do hit, like, right above my ankle, which I think is really cute with, like, flats or boots. Um, they're just really classic jeans that I really can't get enough of, and since I bought both washes this year, I wanted to mention them. And side note, I had my original medium blues um, rip, and they were they used to be like this really cool, like vibrant blue, and they definitely changed the wash. But anyways, they ripped like only after I had them for like a month, and I just felt like that wasn't right. Like they're not super cheap jeans, and I buy a lot from Everlane. So I emailed them, and they sent me a new pair, which was so sweet, and I really appreciated it um, because I felt like that wasn't up to their quality standards. So they sent me a new pair, which I really appreciated. So I wanted to call that out, and... I like them this year. I wanted to think of like the jewelry that I wore the mm -hmm. most. Obviously, like Carly said, we've been working from home. We haven't been wearing that much jewelry. But these gold hoops from the Views & Co. I know I talked about them before, but I think that I've worn them more than any other piece of jewelry. They don't irritate my ears. Um, I think they're gold plated or gold filled. I can't really remember. I love the size. I love the shiny finish. There's really nothing bad I can say about them. They're lightweight, so they're comfortable. Um, I think they look really cute and trendy. And yeah, I just, I feel like that's my most worn piece of jewelry. Okay, mine are these hoops I'm wearing. They are, I think they're called like the Organic Pearl Hoops from Majuri. And this is throwback to January here. Yeah. Um, we wanted to buy ourselves like a birthday gift in January. So we went to the Majuri store back when you could go to stores. And um, I picked these up there and it, it was such a cute store too and a cute experience. Mm -hmm. These are a little more expensive than some of their earrings. Um, but it's a real pearl and I just thought they were so like flattering and they go with so much. And I just, every time we've like left the house this year, I've worn these and I, I like, can wear them with like a t-shirt or like a nice shirt and I just really love them and I get a lot of compliments on them too. So I know I wish really? um I need to buy like one of the I guess they're more, more expensive pieces because I can't wear their earrings mm -hmm. but oh yeah these are so lightweight and comfortable yeah. yeah but they just have remember they had I had that reaction to mine yeah. but they did refund me which was so nice mm -hmm. and they have great customer service mm -hmm. but yeah we, we found some good jewelry pieces this year though overall like I we love did. this ring yeah we found more Definitely. we just um yeah kind of towards the end of the year too towards so. the end of the year yeah
Okay, and the last thing I need to mention is my Tuft & Needle mattress. Uh, this was back in like January or the beginning of the year too, um, upgraded to a king from them, and we got the hybrid, so it has the foam on top and then the springs on the bottom. I didn't want to go full foam. I know that's like their classic mattress, but to me, it, it felt a little weird to not have any springs in the mattress. I just felt like over time, maybe it would become flatter quicker, um, and the hybrid was like their newest model. It was a little bit more expensive, I think, but um, to me, it was worth it. I feel like you can't feel the springs because the foam layer is like most of the mattress. Um, but it's such like a thick, plush, large, wonderful mattress. So comfortable to sleep on. Truly like night and day difference from the Serta I had been sleeping on to this. I still have my Serta. I should, you, need, you need to upgrade. This is, it's so wonderful. Like I can't sing its praises enough. Worth the price, 100%. I mean, even also going from a queen to a king was just their huge. bed is huge now. It's Am huge. I the only one that thinks that kings are just huge? They're huge. But yeah. They're kings big. are big. They're big. Yeah. And this mattress is pretty tall and we also have a box spring because um, we just got like a normal metal bed frame. I don't, I need to look for a bed. I need an actual bed, but it went, well, because we spent so much on the mattress, we didn't want to like settle for a bed we didn't love. So I need to like save up for that. And I still haven't found one that I love to be honest with you, but this works for us for now. We just have a normal metal, um, frame with the box spring that I got on Amazon and then the Tuft & Needle Hybrid Mattress. It's 10 out of 10, so comfortable. I feel like it's gonna last forever. I can't imagine it like actually deflating and like becoming uncomfortable. So the quality is amazing. It is less expensive than like the big box stores as they say, cause it's a direct to consumer brand. Um, I think they have a really good like tryout program Probably, like yeah. all the other ones but highly recommend it if you're in the market for a new mattress oh and our brook linen sheets and duvet covers we got those this year oh too, i definitely right? did yeah oh because i think i got mine last december but they didn't even arrive till like end of january they were so bad oh, okay yeah i, I got, got them mine last november i got mine when we got the bed yeah oh so i'm gonna add that in here too i love them um i have the duvet cover too do you have it too and the duvet yeah, I didn't get the duvet insert, but mm -hmm. I got the cover and then the sheet set. Okay, yeah, I have, we'll link them all down below. We both have the standard, like, white linen, brook linen sheet set, duvet cover, and then I have two duvets from them. The, like, lighter one that we use for, like, spring and summer, and then the thicker one that we use for winter, which is my favorite. I think we could actually use it all year round. I actually don't think it's that hot. Yeah, I got an all-season one from Amazon that I love. Mm -hmm. I know I talked about it before. Yeah, um, so we'll link it all down below, but highly recommend. The only thing I will say with Brooklinen is for some reason my fitted sheet is ripping, and um, I've only had it like a year, so I don't know why, but everything else has held up super durable. Like even the pillowcases mm -hmm. have really held up. Um, so I'm really impressed and they're so soft and nice to sleep on. Yeah. We love the linen. Yes. It's so nice. Sorry, we're like thinking more things we forgot because we forgot we got these things in December. Yes. So it's No, been, we got this in January, I think. I think again, they were like delivered in January. Okay, maybe. Um, but these couches, <laughs> we got them this year and obviously we've loved them for like Five months out of the year, this is where we worked every day. Yeah. Um, we oh love my gosh, couches. how we used to do that. I know. Wow. <laughs> this year has been wild. Um, we have two of the exact same that we're sitting on right now. We will link them down below. They're from, what are they? Article. Word? Article. The Sven They've couch. been our dream Sven couches sofa. for years. Britt and I have both just like lusted over these couches and we're like, oh, we could never spend the money. And then one day we were like, you know what? We need those couches. Cause we needed two couches. Our living room mm -hmm. is quite large and there's four of us and we had a sectional, but we hated, hated it. Yeah. Isn't even like the best descriptor for it. We never liked it. It just fit in our old apartment. It fit through the door. So we had to settle. Um, so we wanted something new. We knew we needed two couches. And then, so we were like, well, that makes sense. Cause eventually we won't live together. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, we'll, but then we both wanted the same one. And this made sense because it looks nice when there's two. Yeah, they're just beautiful couches. Again, they've held up so well. The quality is immaculate. Was, they're amazing. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed our 2020 lifestyle favorites. It was a bit rambly. I know we threw some random things in there, um, but we love watching these types of videos, so we hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see what 2021 brings.